Her evil plots and stupid thinking all lead to a disastrous end. Megan is so complacent that she thinks she holds too much information about the royal family when in reality, she hasn't lived in that world long enough to understand their rules. Values and secrets fully? Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into one of the most shocking stories in modern history, the lives of Meghan Markle and Harry. From sparkling, flashy red carpet photos to calculated psychological dramas, we will expose all the dark secrets lurking behind their lives. Are they truly looking for happiness, or are they just playing a dangerous game with fame and popularity? Freya, can you tell us about the couple's current situation? Meghan and Harry's current situation is indeed in a tragic situation. Meghan Markle, who was once considered a modern-day princess, has now become a symbol of greed and materialism. She constantly exploits the royal family's name to satisfy her ambitions. Releasing her diary is nothing more than a cheap ploy to attract attention and maintain the aura she once had. Who still believes Meghan's lies? The reality is that Meghan used every trick possible to turn herself into a victim. But the price to pay for this was huge. She trampled on the royal family, who once welcomed her with open arms, just to satisfy her thirst for fame. Look at what she did to Harry, who should have been a symbol of strength and nobility, but is now just a coward, standing behind and pandering to his wife's every request. Me? This not only ruined Harry's image, but also eroded people's trust in the royal family. That's right. Harry gave up everything precious to follow the false dream that Meghan drew. His actions are disappointing. As a prince, he should have been a model of strength and integrity. But now, Harry was just a coward, lost, and completely directionless. Who else can respect a prince and allow his wife to manipulate and control him? Will Harry have enough courage to face reality? He chose to live in the shadow of a fake life, where everything was shaped by Meghan and her fierce desire for fame. Meanwhile, she continues to do everything to enhance her image, stopping at nothing to achieve her goals. Sure, Harry's actions show that he is no longer capable of making decisions for himself. He has become a puppet in Meghan's hands, and the fact that he always stands by her despite criticism from the public and his family, only highlights his weakness and irresponsibility. Both have made the British royal family a laughing stock in the eyes of the world. And it is impossible not to mention the fact that it is Harry who is leading Meghan down a path of self-destruction. Meghan not only took advantage of Harry, but also took advantage of the royal legacy. She constantly trumpets personal freedom and power. But in reality, she is creating a golden cage for herself in the eyes of the public. She may be a victim, but the truth is completely different. Harry's career and image are being irreparably damaged, and it will not only affect them, but also their children in the future. When they grow up and see that their parents destroyed the royal family's reputation and legacy through power games, will they be able to feel proud of their origins? Why don't Harry and Meghan realize that their actions, words, and decisions over time have contributed to their negative image in the eyes of the public? And why do they consider the public like a monster wanting to devour them? Harry's ridiculous attempt to portray the public as a threat to his cruel wife is an unacceptable insult. The way he tried to create the image that Meghan was a victim of social prejudice, when in reality it was their actions and decisions that made them an object of hate, really only made it worse, makes clear his weakness and irresponsibility. Harry, instead of acknowledging the mistakes in his behavior and choices, blamed society, the public, and even the royal family for the difficulties they were facing. This not only shows a lack of maturity, but also shows a weak defensive mentality, as he does not dare to face the fact that many people no longer respect or respect them because of the performances they have performed. Harry's exaggeration about the public being a threat to Meghan not only shows naivety, but is also an insult to those who face pressure and prejudice in their lives. Daily, they created the image of a perfect couple, but presented themselves as weak, unable to face criticism and pressure from society. Ultimately, 
It was their actions that put them in a position of being hated. And Harry's attempts to justify his poor decisions only made things worse. It didn't sound right to me. Harry was afraid she might be harmed, but Meghan didn't seem afraid of that. Why didn't Meghan show any genuine feelings towards Harry? And did jealousy and greed really drive their relationship, making her willing to wait until Harry spent all the money, inheritance before she left? She's not afraid of anything. Surely, what Meghan shows is just a mask to hide her true nature. She has no emotions, existing only with relentless jealousy, always dreaming of a life of luxury without paying the price. What she wants is not love or support from Harry, but the satisfaction of her boundless ambitions. She is waiting for the perfect moment when he has spent all the inheritance money he received, then suddenly and mercilessly throws him away. For her, this marriage is not true love, but just a means to achieve what she desires. She couldn't bear the fact that she would have to face a divorce, which would not only hurt her image, but also threaten the assets she had accumulated over the years. The day she started taking parking lot photos in her new clothes and jewelry was the clearest sign that she was ready for her next move. That will be the moment when everyone realizes that Megan is not only a wife, but also a calculating person. Someone who always seeks to take advantage of situations to serve herself. The luxury items she would buy were a clear declaration of war on Harry. A message that she was prepared for a new life without him. All of these actions only reinforce the idea that she is really just a greedy person without any real connection to Harry, but just exploitation. Does Meghan truly understand that her rejection of the traditional values and foundations of the royal family has made her an ungrateful and selfish person? Why did she throw everything away without thinking about the consequences for both the royal family and herself? Had she forgotten that the royal family's acceptance and love was not only a privilege, but also a responsibility that she voluntarily assumed? Clearly. Megan has chosen to live in a world where she doesn't need to remember what was given to her. Who gave her the dream wedding that every girl desires. Who saw her as someone who could leave a strong mark on the royal family. The truth is that she threw away all those golden opportunities. And now, she cannot understand why she became the most hated woman on the planet. The British people and the royal family gave her everything from acceptance and love to privileges that not everyone has. Since joining the royal family, she has enjoyed the best living conditions, care from those close to her, and admiration from the public. However, all of that seemed like a bright light in her eyes because she threw everything back harshly. Perhaps, whether the queen calls her Evel or not, Meghan has proven it herself through her actions and words. Not only did she reveal her true nature, but she also showed a lack of respect for what was given to her. Her journey is not just about the allegations, but is also a series of behaviors and decisions that clearly show she has no intention of upholding the values of the royal family. While she tries to build a new image for herself in California, many people still have to wonder, will Meghan realize that she is going against what people have expected of her? Why couldn't she see that her actions had created hatred and criticism from the public? Let's look back at the past to see that everything she did cannot justify the hatred she faces today. And we can't forget to mention Harry. He completely lost himself, caught up in a vortex that Meghan herself created. They rejected the value and honor that the royal family had worked hard to build, only to pursue low-zinc things. They are building a prison for themselves. And if they don't stop, both of their futures will certainly be dim. Do they still realize that, in this war, they will completely lose? It feels like they're running away from the past. But in reality, every wrong decision they make only makes the past become a lingering ghost. Megan, with her tricks and calculations, created a completely false picture of the life they were living. They may boast fame, but when the lights go out, what's left? The trauma and pain they have caused themselves and others. I agree with your point of view. I also think that Megan, with her actions and complacent attitude, has shown an unacceptable arrogance. 
as she not only wants to be worshipped but also does not hesitate to show contempt for those who have helped her. Does she believe that people will take her side while she constantly deceives and manipulates their emotions? Does Megan realize that her arrogance and the deceptions she carries out have made her one of the most hated women in the world, and no one will trust anything that she says or writes down? She longed to be worshipped, but the truth was that her actions only made people hate her more. A woman behaving badly and still wanting to be admired is ridiculous. The saying, if you don't want friends, don't be friendly, is an obvious truth that she needs to understand. Megan, with her complacent and arrogant nature, exposed to the world that she is not only a deceiver, but also an intelligent person in manipulates the emotions of others to serve her own needs and personal purposes. Most people will not believe any book she writes because they have seen enough of the lies and scams she has used to create her image. The war she initiated not only made her a laughingstock, but also hurt those around her, from the royal family to those who once supported her. This war is a tragic drama, where she is the main character, but no one is on her side. Megan is living in a world of delusion, not realizing that no one will win this war but herself. Her stubbornness and arrogance are creating chaos, not only for herself, but also for others, causing them to suffer the sadness and fatigue she creates. It's pitiful that the children have to live with her. When Harry and Meghan are parents, the children's lives will face many difficulties and challenges, instead of growing up in a calm and stable environment. Children will have to live in the shadow of their parents' wrong decisions and complacency. This not only makes children the focus of attention, but also causes heavy psychological pressure. They will face criticism from the public, constant comparisons to the royal family, and unrealistic expectations placed on them by their parents. Furthermore, Harry and Meghan's actions in their quest for fame and wealth have created a life filled with instability and controversy. Can their children find peace of mind when their parents are always seeking attention and arguing? Their parents' presence in the spotlight will certainly make them face many pressures and difficulties that a child does not deserve. The saddest thing is that these children will not only endure criticism from outside, but also suffer from feelings of loneliness and lack of affection within their own homes. Perhaps in their hearts, there will always be a question. Why did my parents choose this path, making my life so miserable? Can the upcoming German documentary clearly and credibly resolve the questions surrounding Meghan and Harry's surrogacy. And how will this affect how the public perceives them when Meghan seems bound by unspoken restrictions so as not to damage the royal family's reputation? I think both I and everyone watching this video hope that the questions surrounding Harry and Meghan's surrogacy will be answered clearly and in detail when watching the German documentary. This is not only a personal issue, but also a highly controversial topic in the community. Harry's wife, Meghan Markle, has created a lot of doubts about her birth process, especially when there is ambiguous and confusing information related to surrogacy. She cannot speak freely without fear of damaging the reputation and prestige of the British royal family. These things make her fans, and even those who don't like her, feel skeptical and curious about the truth behind the stories they tell. With the new information that this documentary promises to bring, we may have a more in-depth look at the decisions Meghan and Harry made, as well as the pressures they faced from both the royal family and the public. This is an opportunity to shed light on one of the most controversial aspects of their lives, which is sure to attract attention from both supporters and opponents. We can expect that the film will provide previously unknown information and help the public have a more objective view of this issue while making it impossible for Meghan to continue to hide the truth. She had been careful to keep it hidden for so long. It will be a fascinating exploration, and many people are eagerly waiting for every minute of this movie to find out the truth behind the mystery. It is reported that Meghan and Harry are making great efforts to pressure and threaten the documentary producers. They are panicking about the inside information becoming public. And will this make producers more determined to protect the content and ensure that the truth will eventually be revealed? I'm sure that before the movie aired, 
They were very scared. They tried to intimidate not only the producers, but also those involved in the release of the documentary. By applying pressure to prevent the release of information that could damage the reputation of the film. Me. This leads me to believe that the producers are making every effort to ensure that every aspect of the film is secure. Like a safe, not only to protect information, but also to keep possible revelations in the film, are completely unexpected. This not only demonstrates their caution, but also shows the need to resist the intimidation tactics that Megan and Harry are using to keep their story from being exposed. This is not just a war between individuals, but also a war about truth, reputation, and control of one's narrative. And the producers are committed to ensuring that what they are given will not be affected by the couple's efforts. When will Megan realize that her presumption of knowing royal secrets was just an illusion? And will she understand that her life experiences in the palace cannot be compared to those of the royal family? Generations of history and tradition that the royal family has gone through, leading to the fact that one day, when the truth is revealed, she might be the one hurt the most. I think her evil plots and stupid thinking all lead to a disastrous end. Megan is so complacent that she thinks she holds too much information about the royal family when in reality, she hasn't lived in that world long enough to understand their rules, values, and secrets fully. Every step she takes is wrong. I hope God will punish her. As it turns out, just because she lived in the palace for a short period doesn't mean she was able to develop a real insight or understanding of the royal family. Is Megan too confident in thinking she can control this game? Is she continuing on her crazy path without realizing that one day, the secrets she thought she held would come back to haunt her? Is it only when the royal family officially reveals information about her that Megan truly opens her eyes and realizes that she has harmed herself in a game that she does not fully understand? Does anyone agree with me that Megan's appearance has caused a major crisis in the relationship between William and Harry, turning them from close friends into strangers? So will Megan accept this, realize that her actions and decisions not only affected her personal life, but could also damage the legacy and spirit of an entire royal family, specifically the princess did Diana, whom both brothers respected. Teach them about love and unity. Yes, there was a beautiful time when William and Harry were close friends, always standing side by side, sharing the joys and sorrows of life. Then Catherine appeared, not only bringing love, but also contributing to tightening the bond between the two brothers. If Princess Diana had lived, she would have felt content and proud of the harmony between her sons. And she would have loved Catherine, who became part of the royal family with such grace and great talent. But then, something strange happened. A woman with a narcissistic personality, named Megan, intervened and caused a rift between the brothers. Not just because of Harry's love for her, but also because of her ambition and unreasonable demands for royal life. Not only did Meghan fail to become the princess she wanted to be, but she also broke a sacred bond between the two brothers, causing Diana, if she could have seen from above, to heartbroken and sad. She must have cried in heaven when she witnessed the split between William and Harry because it was she who always tried to teach her children about love and unity. She would not be able to bear to see her sons confront each other, and that responsibility largely falls on Meghan. She would be very angry to see Meghan wearing the same outfits as Diana, wearing her favorite perfume, but unable to become the role model she once represented. Catherine, with her confidence, elegance, and composure, is the image of Diana in modern times. She brings harmony and sophistication that Megan can only wish for. While Megan is just a shadowy figure, a dreamer living in a self-made fairy tale, Catherine is truly the heir to Diana's values and identity helping to maintain her class and dignity royal family. Sadly, the relationship between William and Harry is no longer the same. And all of this is due to the appearance of a woman who has no idea what she is doing with her life. An upheaval that affects not only the brothers, but also the royal family and those who love them. Megan is living in a world she thinks is her own. But in reality, she is just part of a larger story that she cannot understand. Has the couple single-handedly destroyed their image to the point where no one trusts what they say? And does Harry realize that his efforts to restore relations with the royal family 
and get back support from a completely shattered British public? Furthermore, what if they continue to live in an illusion without realizing that it is their actions that push people away? The information about them is not just baseless rumors, but stories that have been widely spread, and we can all easily imagine the things they intentionally hide. This couple is truly pathetic, not only in the way they present themselves, but also in their constant efforts to attract attention. They have lost public trust, and none of us will believe a word they say, no matter what they say. Harry, once loved, has now lost his chance to regain the support of the British public and may never be able to return to his family. It's over. There's no turning back. Who cares if he feels lost or alone? We no longer care about the feelings of a person who has chosen to give up everything that was once precious, just to pursue his illusions. The truth was that Harry had put himself in this state, and it was obvious to everyone around him. The words from them are now just empty sounds, no longer meaningful in the eyes of the public. In the end, we are witnessing a couple who are not only symbols of failure, but also models of ambition and cunning. Meghan and Harry gave up their chance to be positive role models in society. And now, they are suffering the consequences of their irresponsible actions. Their future will be without light, only shadows of failure and regret. Do any of us think that Meghan can escape her ghost? An ambitious woman is never enough, always demanding more and more. She may have gotten what she wanted, but the price for that would have been loneliness and regret. Harry will soon realize that, although she may make him feel special for a while, eventually, the cruel truth will come. One thing is clear. Meghan and Harry are driving themselves into a dead end. They refuse to realize that fame isn't everything. And in this journey, they close the door to a bright future. What do you think about this couple? Leave them below in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss the latest analysis from us.